Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a brand new release 2019 Bowman Draft Baseball 8 box uh, pick your team number 2, brand new release prospect heavy product we love this stuff big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action right here 8 box jumbo 2, we've got 3 box super jumbos on jazbeescasebreaks.com right now here on Wednesday the 4th. There's everyone right here. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. No Nationals. And there is the eight boxer right in front of me here. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. Let's pop this open, and let's see what we get. This break should take, I don't know, about an hour or so, so... Plenty of time to uh, to fill another break. If you're not in this, you can run some errands or whatever. And then I guess come back. In an hour, perfect, perfect time to run some errands, grab a bite to eat, do something. Come back and figure it out. All right, so we've got four boxes there, four boxes up here. We're still using the backup camera, so I know it looks a little off, but I think we I think we can live with it. Three Chrome Prospect autographs cards inside per box on average, and uh, all Chrome cards ship. No paper, non-numbered cards ship. We'll be donating those, if in case you were wondering. And that helps out the shipping team a great deal. I think helps uh, get these hits to you much more quickly as well, which is, I think, the whole point. Mark N., what's going on? Mark is in the house. Mark saying, I am so lost when it comes to this Bowman stuff. Yeah, this is definitely, if you're, this is definitely another level, I think, in, in, uh, in collecting. Because, I mean, a lot of these guys, these guys were drafted earlier this, this year. And then spend a lot of time in rookie ball or single A. And this is definitely, you know, prospecting at its, like gold prospecting, it's like prospecting at its finest. A lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of value for these. These are oftentimes their first autographs for these rookies. Or rookies draft prospects, that is not even rookies, prospects. This is the kind of stuff where, like, if you got... Yeah, no, Mark's like, ain't no one got time for that. I don't know, it's hard enough to keep up with, like, the new rookies, let alone prospects that are, like, three to four years out. I get it. But, yeah. But there's a lot of money in this. This, this is... The, these are where the stories of, oh, the Bowman Draft Trout, or the, the Bowman Draft... Strasburg, you know, that went for a zillion dollars, you know, that, that, that's, when you hear those stories, it's usually out of these early Bowman products is where, it's what they're talking about. All right, so prospectors and big collectors, good luck. Let me adjust the microphone here a little bit, bring that over here. All right, here we go, good luck. See, that's a comfortable hand position here. All right, and away we go. So obviously, this kind of paper will ship. 421 out of 499, Josh Mears. And then these parallels like this will definitely ship, of course. There's Jeter Downs. I think that might be one of his first cards in a Dodgers uniform. Remember, he got traded to the Dodgers. There's Roni Maurizio. Wow, that's a little bit thicker than the other cards. Kind of feels a little different. But at Sparkle, not number, but of course it will ship. All right, Sean, thank you. Bought the last spot mojo in a basketball break. Excellent. Well, that'll happen in about an hour or so. So this break takes a minute or two. Oh, this nice. 
And the Bowman 30th anniversary design, 98 out of 99. We've got Riley Green, which I think is a one of the big prospects for the... Yeah, he's a top five pick, fifth pick to be precise. Out of, high, out of Haggerty High, drafted by the Tigers. Nice. Who's got Detroit? Robbie Tolliver. There you go, man. Nice way to start things off. I'm going to breeze by this paper a little bit. So if I miss something, don't worry. Our shipping team will find it. But I think most of the parallels and stuff should be pretty obvious. So that's a facsimile autograph, of course. Sixto Sanchez, who, remember, came over from the Phillies in that deal. And actually, he's supposed to be a pretty good prospect, too. I think Marlins changed their uh, turf around. I think I heard that. Oh, Tyler, you had the, <laughs> you had the course. That all, that, that's, that's the way it always happens, right? Of course, you had him in the first case, and of course, the Tigers pop in the second case. Adley Rushman, monster hit there. He's the number one overall pick from Oregon State. I mean, they're saying this guy is as close to can't miss as you can get. I mean, he was great in college. You know, power and patience, switch hitting catcher, come on. That's what they say anyway. Orioles, Ken Goldberg. There you go, Ken. And he's out of college too. And the college players you're going to see a lot earlier than the high school draftees. So Adley Rushman, you know, I mean, health pending, knock on wood, if you're with me. Health pending. All he has to do is just work through work through the minor leagues, and he'll be he'll be. I'm sure in the, in the Orioles organization, no one's blocking him in the Orioles organization, so I'm sure he'll be starting sooner rather than later. There's Ethan Hawkins, 250, Hankins that is. See, I think this is a parallel. It's just not number. It'll ship. So I'm breezing through the paper rather quickly. I mean, it's not going to ship, but I'll, I'll go a little bit slower on the chrome for those of you who want to keep a closer eye on the chrome stuff. But in the interest of time, we're going to have to breeze through that paper pretty quickly. Otherwise, this break takes too long. We got, we got fish to fry, bigger fish to fry. There's Royce Lewis to $4.99. I'm going to snap a picture of that Adley there. Nice. Uh, the first box, autograph two, and pick your team two. And our third autograph, C.J. Abrams, John McCall. What a week for him. That's crazy. Everyone, everyone's talking, yo, Nick, Joe, why are the Padres so expensive, right? I think that's the, that's the question. That's a big question I got lately. Well, it's because he is your sixth overall pick. And according to MLB, your fourth overall prospect from this draft class, 107 out of 150, Blue Wave, C.J. Abrams. And that, once again, John McCall, who's having quite a week here at Jaspers. Look at that. My hot hands. Too hot. Steaming up the card right there. Yeah, I'm going to move 
the autos for my side here. I mean, that's not bad for a first box. You've got you've got the number five overall, the number one overall, and then the number six overall pick in the 2019 draft. It's a good way to start things off. You see Nick Cam above my head right there. He'll be popping open some boxes for us. This break will be even faster. Uh, well, that's that's the channel is on, but it's making me sad. <laughs> because then you got V Foundation, then they're doing Stuart Scott tributes, and that makes me sad. Was this the pile that? That's the pile I didn't that I went through, right? Yeah. All right, slide this stack over here. So this is box two. Is that box three? Same oh, box same box. One. So here is box two. They don't fit in one stack. Right here, gotcha. There you go. So each pile about this size will be will be a box. Everything will be shown. All right. It'll all work out. Yeah, it'll all work out. I'm not worried about it. And Sean's saying that, they, that the Marlins, I was just talking about how the Marlins added like turf in their outfield or something like that, and they brought in the walls. All right. Let's see how the Marlins pitchers handle that. Okay. Good. All right, Tyler. See you. Good luck. Win that Tigers money back, Tyler. Josh Luke is saying... Hope Adley lives up to the hype. As an Orioles fan, I sure hope he's the savior. Well, we don't have anywhere to go but up at this point, right? I mean, they've got some pieces there. You know, I don't think I don't think Adley Rushman's going to end up like a like a Matt Weeders. Last big hope. There's Brandon Williamson, Gold Wave. 11 out of 50 for the Mariners. That's going to go to Tyler Stumpf and the M's. Not sure if Williamson is a first rounder, but just one to hold on to. I mean, it's going to be a brutal rebuild, Josh, but but at least, I mean, it's a good draft. At least you're not, like, making bad draft picks. A couple of those picks here and there. You know, I'm sure the Orioles, the Orioles have money. They're not, they're not a small market team by any means. So I think once they get some of a young core together, they may be willing to open up the, open up the wallet a little bit, the purse strings, you know. And then next thing you know, they're right back in the mix. The tough thing, though, that AL East, that's a, that's a, that's a tough division. So that's, that's the problem. But that could be a very competitive division, though, if everybody gets their act together. There you go. No worries, Tyler. No, no J.J. Bledleys so far, Big River. Not yet. All right, there's Matt Libertor. The Rays are one of the one of the teams to watch out for as well. 25 out of 50. That's for Jeff Goldberg. Should be a couple more autographs to go in this box. There's a uh, Corey Lee, 103 out of 150. 
Yeah, Josh is hoping we can hoping we can turn out like the Astros did with all their top picks besides the cheating part, right? I wonder has there been any I haven't really been been keeping an eye on it, but has there been any sort of additional news on that or what the timeline is going to be for Major League Baseball to investigate? There's Anthony Siegler to 499 paper for the Yankees. It'll be interesting to see what happens there. Looks like some orange coming up here. No auto, but orange paper, 25 out of 25. Grant Gambrill for the Royals. That's going to go to Ray Phil. And there's the auto. TJ Sakima. Or Sikama. Sikama will go to the Yankees. That's for Matt Gomes. Our second autograph there. Rex, how's it going? Yes, I am. I am on the mend, feeling a lot better. It was mostly, uh, mostly the, the the throat that was really the the thing. We pulled his actual autograph earlier. That's a facsimile. Uh, but after kind of sleeping it off, drinking a lot of tea, worked out. Back off the IL. I guess if it wasn't a new, a big new release day, I may have taken an extra, extra day. But it's a new release day, Rex. Can't miss a new release day. At least a new release day like this. Oh, and there's our third and final autograph for the box. Brennan Malone. Brennan Malone for the Diamondbacks. Calvin with the Snakes. Big River saying, speaking Houston, James Harden's basket is going to be counted. And the Rockets will be handed the win from the NBA. Wow. I feel like I've never seen, I've never heard that happen. That's crazy. There's our three autographs right there. Wait, does that mean uh, does that mean uh, the Rockets cover? Oh, I wonder how my my book will handle that. Here's the next box right here. Sunset Heart Hands. The Sunset Heart Hands commercial is back, ladies and gentlemen. My favorite. One of my favorites. Yeah, I heard about that Connor McDavid when I woke up from my. My uh, NyQuil slumber. There's Jake Sanford. I got messages from Nick, both on our Slack and via tax everywhere. I was just, social media was blowing up. And I was like, what the hell happened? And it was Connor McDavid, which is awesome. Yeah, no, I'm glad, I'm glad Jason, I'm glad Jason was able to pull that. He definitely would, would appreciate it far more. I mean, I guess I, I appreciate it too, but. He was the right guy to pull that. See? So it worked out. There's a Gray Kessinger, 27 out of 99 green paper for the Astros. That'll be for Levi. There's Adley Rushman, Green Chrome, 6 out of 99 for Ken and the O's. We'll go along nicely with that autograph that we pulled for you, Ken. And we've got Peyton Burdick. 
for the Miami Marlins. That goes to John McCall. Cooper, what's going on? Miss Cooper saying yo. What up, Coop? Nice, that's our first auto out of the box. Let's see, we're going to breeze through this paper here. Oh, we'll do a recap too. Have we been doing recaps? I guess we'll do a recap. At the end of the video, maybe. There's Ryan Garcia. Should I keep in the same? Do you guys like recaps? Quick informal poll, since this, we got a lot of time to talk in this break. Do you guys like recaps at the end of the video or in a separate video? There's Ryan Garcia. Admires Max Scherzer. All right. I mean, who doesn't? Uh, Texas Rangers, that goes to Josh Pruce with the Rangers. Um, oh, I'm getting overwhelming response saying, Sean says end of video, Daryl end of video, Josh end of video, Cooper end of video. All right. So keep it contained in the same video. That makes sense. I like that too because it doesn't keep the we, – we upload so many videos anyway. Maybe it's nicer to keep it all contained into one spot. Fair enough. All right. End of video it is. Thank you. And we got Evan Fitter, 74 out of 250. Purple Chrome for the Miami Marlins. That'll be for John McCall. Chrome, Chrome, Chrome. And then paper, paper stuff. Gonna be donated to a bunch of kids, most likely. Probably kids, right? Mark, Mark Madsen, maybe? Really? Yeah. Man, remember when we... Look at all the sports stuff that happens when I when I miss a couple days. Connor McDavid busts out. Ron Rivera gets fired. I guess that was the big news. I didn't think they'd fire him until like uh, at least until the end of the season. Gang says, at least some of the gang says they like the uh, recap videos at the end instead of a separate video. Just FYI. Well, I think the people watching live, yeah. But the people who log on to YouTube, they don't know the recaps at the end. I usually try to put it in the description. I guess, yeah. But I, I like some, recap at the end. Maybe some people don't. Unless someone, yeah, someone's not going to read. Of course, no one reads anything, so they're going to be like, bro, bro. I'm not going to watch an hour long video. It's like recap at the end, man. Should have said at the start of the video. There's Ryan Zephyrion. The first thing you say, not even. 249 out of 499. Right, before I even say hi, before I say what up, everybody. I'll put it in the thumbnail. Recap at the end? Yeah. I'll call it a brie cap, a break recap. Oh, a brie. Oh! A brie cap. Man, I like that a breeze right there. Yeah. All right, there you go. End of box three, I think. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, end of box three. Is it kids just stealing our stuff? Mark Masson, what's going on? We were just talking about you. We were talking about how you a lot of, lot of paper base to send to. And your students. Adam, what's going on? Yeah, no, I didn't miss anything. It was great. I always felt like Rip Van Winkle. I woke up. And there's a Connor McDavid. The video was great. At Jaspies Breaks is our Twitter, ladies and gentlemen. At Jaspies Breaks Instagram. 
you'll be able to see the video of our our big Connor McDavid hit that Jason pulled yesterday. And then that one thing I sent you in private that that one person. Oh yeah, that was then, wild too. And then you can't say anything about that one thing. Yeah, I can't say anything about that show anymore. Or or play or you know. Right, right, right. Or song or artist. Wait, artist. I'm just trying to confuse people. Oh, right, 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 right. right. Might be awkward. Right. And we don't want to make it awkward. We, yeah. we respect the privacy of our of our buyers here. I don't think he's in this break anyway. What or made she. you look that what made you look that up? Or she. Noah Song or she. Four ninety nine. I don't know, I think I was just Matt Gorski. You know, on the internet. Just just, just doing authenticity you know, checks, yeah. making sure there's no shady people buying into our breaks? Yeah, sometimes I do that. No, it's good. It's like... I don't know, you never... Gotta, gotta do some audits every once in a while. Remember that one one person who came in our Breakers TV chat every day and, and would say hi? That, um, the God? Right? His name was God. Okay, I don't remember that, no. And it was Matt like Gorski. Matt Sims okay. with the Matt Gorski. I don't say anything. Well, you don't want to mess around with God. No, it was... It was like dog... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that guy. Yeah. Whatever. And then remember that stuff, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. right, right, yeah. right, 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 right. Right. And then remember that one person that, yeah, you know that, you know that. That was, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that person, that person's still around. Yeah, and then, uh, and then, uh, <laughs> you know the. Oh, yeah, there's that guy. Oh, man, there's like, so many. Like 10 of those, yeah. Wait till, I can't wait till we retire so we can write a tell-all book. <laughs> yeah. A telenovela? A telenovela. There's a Shea Lang Langliers for the Braves. Oh, man. Yeah, Mark Masson will, uh, I don't know, we'll let us know when you when you need the stuff, and then we'll arrange our usual arrangement. I'm sure the kids these days. Where's the new stuff? <laughs> the kids are looking for the 2019 draft class. Front door. Door front. Oh, and there is Andre Lipsius, 56 out of 71. Speckle. Lipkius. Lipkius. All right, I'll go I'll, either way. I don't know. I just say no. I don't think he's a first rounder. No. I feel like I would have remembered seeing Lip Gius on my first round <laughs> list right there. All right, there's autograph two of three from this box. You laugh about that, but the Mark Matson saying, but they have been asking for new stuff. <laughs> they're, they're just like someone donating '90s cards to Mark's school, and do then they, do they want some transcendent cards? Should we send them transcendent base cards? They won't even know. They won't even know. They'd be like, we're so close to selling that transcendent, but nobody, nobody wants that last spot no. plus the, the two fillers. Plus the two fillers. Yeah, it'll happen. It'll happen this week. Grant McRae to 150 paper for the Giants. There's uh, Alejandro Kirk to 4.99 paper. Logos are garbage. You don't like the new Marlins logo? No. Like this know. this logo? No, oh, that's the that's Brewers. I like the new Brewers. I like the, the they're more like this now, right? Yeah. Wait, where's let's find a Marlin. You don't like the it, they kind of look like the Heat City uniforms. Yeah, I, like I kind of like the Heat City uniforms. I like those, but they don't. You don't like this? No, I don't like it. That's better than the other logo. No, I like the the F. I oh, the, the well, that's that's classic, yeah. They need to bring the F with the Marlin. That looks inside. like a fake Marlin, you know. It looks like a, you know cartoon. Know, it looks like a nice South Beach Marlin. Well, it's, it's ready to go clubbing. 
are Marlins that color? No, not at all. Okay. <laughs> not even close. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah. Okay. No, I mean, yeah, no, yeah. I don't. I don't blame you. Tropical fish could be wild colors. I get it, but. No, Mar Marlin, the original Florida Marlins logo is is yeah. pretty close, yeah. Yeah, now we just need to pull like a, you know. Michael Jordan PSA 10? Yeah, like a, uh, I don't know. Yeah, right. Rex is saying in the last three months, you guys have pulled the three biggest cards of Jaspi's time. Have you noticed that every time we say we can't pull anything bigger, we do? Mmm, Jameson. Dre Jameson. Going to the Snakes. Calvin with the Diamondbacks. Who's going to be... There's, there's got to be a sponsor there somewhere. Unless he doesn't drink, I guess. So. The no sponsor money. He's probably not old enough. Probably not old enough. I guess you're right. He was born in 1997. I know he's old enough. That's 22. Oh, yeah. It's Yeah, I did. I did my hat flat brim like uh, Dontrell Willis, Detroit. Um, classic. And he had the best pitching stance. And He's then they great. also had Gary Sheffield for a while there at the Marlins. Chef, yeah. And every kid wanted to imitate his batting stance. Which was terrible. Yeah. It was because really because you don't have the wrists yeah. or the bat speed Power, to yeah. yeah to to actually bring that through the strike zone. Everyone wanted to be Griffey, but they ended up being like you know Sheffield. He's 50 years old now. And he was Who? Uh, Gary Sheffield? Is he really? Video of him I saw that recently. Yeah, yeah, he's. That looked he's like a little league. He's smoking a cigar. That looked like a little league field, though, didn't it? I don't know, but I, he still got it, I think. Maybe it was a high school field, but he he was sending it over the fence. I think he could DH for the moment. I think he could uh, DH, so. yeah. I, think, I feel like Rafael Primero still thinks he could like DH somewhere. The guy who used steroids? He wants to come back. That's like ter uh, Terrell Owens. No, that football is hard. You can't do that. It's like Chad Johnson eats McDonald's three days, three times a day, and he's still who does? Rip. Chad Ochocinco. Really? Yeah. I wish I had that metabolism. One thirty-three out of two fifty. Brennan Malone, another Diamondback for Calvin. Nice. Hey, how's it going? We need more of those. Need more of what? We're out. Yeah. We should just do like a Amazon automated delivery thingy. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Well, Mark, you're you, Mark N. Got two marks in the chat. Mark N and Mark M. Uh, Mark N, you're gonna be in uh, California in a few months, are you not? Maybe uh, you know, maybe you come by the shop and hang out and share some of those Don Trell strip club stories. Uh, what's bigger than Connor McDavid? It's pretty big. I mean, short of us finding like. Digging through old uh, Bowman draft boxes and finding a Mike Trout, <laughs> like Super Fract or something like that, which might be out already. Short of that, I just I don't think we're gonna find anything bigger in any set that's that's in the last three years. Steve Olson, what's going on? I am feeling better. Well, Still feel a little sluggish, but the important thing is my my throat feels loud. That's that's the thing that was really killing me over the weekend. It was uh, extremely sore, not strep level. Didn't doesn't feel like that, but it was definitely off. In pain, severe pain, but pain has now subsided. Logan Davidson, 
for the A's. That goes to Josh Lucas. Josh on the board. So, but thank you, thank you for asking. Brent, we mid February. Nice, Mar. Well, we look forward to, to, to finally meeting you, man. Um, and we still do have that giant Brady. In fact, it's in front of me right now, acting as a sunblock for. We haven't set up my blinds for the windows yet, so, so I'm I'm looking at him throwing it right now. Yeah, and speaking of Brady, to Brady RPA Rex might be the next like sort of big thing that we can pull. Should we just go for like hobby tri like not even trifecta, superfecta? There's Jake Magnum, Mangum, out of four ninety nine. Yeah, maybe uh yeah if we finish off that transcendent we can find a Babe Ruth cut auto bat knob that might be a big one. Those would be big ones. Brent Culper, no, we don't have any uh, Bowman personal boxes available at the moment. Out of 250, Matt Mur I suppose if you buy out a three-box break of the Super Jumbo, that'd be a three-box personal. But at the time, no. We usually don't do a lot of personal boxes, ladies and gentlemen. So, Just FYI on that, at least online. If you come visit the shop, you can definitely do that. Well, this is paper, 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 paper. Ooh, and we've got a, I haven't seen these black parallels yet. 25 out of 75, Josh Smith. For the Bronx Bombers, Matt Gomes with the Yankees. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's survived the move, Mark been moved and posted put up and put down a couple times but so the there's a, a rough corner top left corner is a little rough but the main part of him is fine perfect to get signed and what I guess if you frame it, it would hide the corners there's Josh Smith right there actually so that was the remember that Diamondbacks auto was our first so that should be three right there some paper right here and these are the final three boxes right there good luck everyone yeah honestly mark you might have to cut it in quarters I think if you want to get that shipped it's pretty big Robbie, yes, a couple already. One of which was um, out of the first box, Riley Green. It's pretty nice. Three boxes to go. It was an insert auto of uh, Riley Green, Robbie. It's pretty nice. Mr. Mike Teddy, yes, I am. I'm off the IL. My status is now just questionable. I was out yesterday, doubtful on Monday, but I didn't have to come in on Monday, but if I had to, I would have been doubtful. Out for the game on Tuesday. Questionable today, but but playing. Thanks for asking. 10 out of 99. Jackson Coar, green paper for the Royals, and it'll go to Ray. 
Yeah, I'm going to do an autograph recap at the end, Robbie. So if you want to stick around for that in the next 10, 15 minutes, I'll be doing an autograph recap at the end. There's Michael Bush for my Dodgers. He was a, was he a, I think he was a compensatory pick. I'm almost certain that he was. Yeah, pick 31, compensatory pick. Second baseman out of UNC, North Carolina. All right, who's got who's got my Dodgers in this one? That'll be uh, Chen, Jahi Chen, with that one. You're welcome, Robbie. Thanks for getting in. Appreciate that. Um, I'll go through orders after this. I think Sean White was saying earlier that a basketball break had filled up. So it looks like we might be into some hoops after this. Jaspie's gift cards at the shop. What if they want to buy online? They can buy it online too. They can buy the, whoa. If you search gift card. These look nice. The back. Oh, the you code's the on the front. Yeah. All right. Can we autograph these? <laughs> I don't know. Do people want our autographs? You can autograph them right That's now. Pretty basic. Fred, what's going on? Sorry, yeah, I. Fred saying could have been bigger if you took the Dolphins straight up against the Eagles. No, I I did not. I thought Fred was actually serious about doing that. He said last week he was going to bet money line Dolphins. Wait, but did you? I didn't. <laughs> and then you said, yeah, I would either bet the money line or bet the Eagles because either the Dolphins win or they get blown out. Right. And, and exactly I, I, took, I took Eagles minus 10. Yeah, that's stupid then. <laughs> I put, I put, uh, I put um, lunch money on, yeah, the, on the Eagles minus Eagles 10. Suck. I actually did well during the week but for the other games, but that was We still control play. our own destiny, though. So. In the contest, yes. We went three no, and two. No, I'm saying our oh. Eagles, my Eagles. I don't care about the contest. <laughs> <laughs> well, the NFC East is so bad. Eight and eight's going to win that division. There you go. Yeah, eight and eight win the division. There is Tyler Baum, 118 out of 150. I don't know, my Raiders aren't going anywhere. That goes to the A's. Josh Lucas with another autograph. This is all paper. Your chrome. There's Eric Yang. It's a $4.99 for the Reds. And these speckles aren't numbered, but obviously they'll they'll ship. You think seven and nine's gonna win that division? Seven. When's the last time that happened? A team with a losing record makes the playoffs. Was it Seahawks? Yeah, that was when Tony Actually, Romo, that wasn't too long Was ago. that when Tony Romo fumbled the ball in his At a 250, moment Christian last Robinson. Night? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember when Tony Romo fumbled the... The, the field goal. The extra point. Oh, was it an extra point? Or no, field goal. I think it was a field goal. Yeah, they would have won. Damn, and yeah, Espino. and then he choked. Yeah, and then he's a terrible broadcaster in the booth too. I actually so. like him in the booth. He's terrible. But then again, I'm a Raiders guy, so. And CBS is the worst broadcaster. Whoa, well, CBS is the best. CBS is the worst broadcaster. Do 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 do. Other than Price is Right, the song's the best. 14 out of 199. Ryan Nelson, another Diamondback for Calvin. Although Fox, the guy kept calling Carson Wentz Carson Palmer. What? The worst. Rondé Barber. Come on, Rondé Barber. Carson Palmer. Carson Palmer probably watching at home just be like, what? <laughs> Rondé Barber, CTE maybe. Whoa. I mean, you can't confuse that. Palmer hasn't been in the league for like... And then that... Did he used to play with Palmer? That Dick Stockton kept... You know, he was just crazy, that guy. He's kind of loony at this point. What happened in that, Mar that Marlins? What happened in that Dolphins game? Dolphins won the game. <laughs> Dolphins scored more points than the Eagles. I don't know. Yeah. That's Thanks, John Madden. Yeah. Um, I didn't watch the game. 
I only just saw them. I saw like the Eagles. Or, I, they were pulling away at some point. I was like, oh, yeah, Fitzpatrick scored a touchdown on six great straight possessions. That's pretty much it. I think yeah. the e- I think Eagles defense fell asleep. They were just like, we got this. Well, the the rumor is that they were partying in Miami the night before. That sounds right. So it's like not as a, like a guarantee. Just like the Packers before the Chargers game. Yeah. The party in LA. Yeah, the Eagles were partying. Right, two up in more Miami, boxes to go. You know, and then they just slept through the game. Well, what they wanted to do, Dallas is going to lose this week. The Eagles are going to win, and then they're going to have the showdown in Philly. The Actually, that that's, Boom, that, that that's that's appointment it's all TV. Set up for TV Joe. It's rigged. That's appointment TV right there, ladies and gentlemen. All right. All right, there's Zach Thompson out of 99 for the Cardinals. Almost done, folks. We'll do a recap, autograph recap at the end of the video. Then we'll uh, put the break away. We'll go through some orders, and then we'll uh, and then we will. I don't know. See what happens next. I think basketball is next. 172 out of 250. Anthony Ziegler. Paper. I like those gift cards. The what? The Wookiee? Yeah, you remember that lady from, uh, what is it, uh, the first Star Wars? The new one? Yeah. She's like, I like Ma- the He's like, where's my boyfriend? <laughs> yeah, Maz. 44 out of 150. Keone Kavako. Oh, look at this. Logan Davidson. Class of 2019. Whoa. That's pretty cool. 130 out of 250. Whoa. It's a nice little insert for the A's. Josh hard. Lucas, who just finished saying Jaspi's hitting big for me lately. We're trying. So we got Fast Break and PYT Prison both sold out. All right, we'll see what, which we'll see which was filled first. I think Chris Maxwell was the one who commented it. He said Jaspi's gets all the mega hits. Mega hits. And I was like, yeah, that's probably... We've been lu- we've been lucky. We've been on a good streak too. What are those kids doing? Are they sealing anything back there? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Are they are they stealing my Star Wars mini guys? No one's buying those Star Wars. I looked in the. I, I think I'm gonna have to buy them all. Yeah, you will. I mean, I did like two or three videos unboxing those things. No one's come in. I guess it's a sign. It's for me. Nice. Cody Hosey for the Dodgers. Chen with that one as well. Nice. Another first round pick for my boys in blue. There you are. Nice. Could be, could be a Justin Turner replacement. Be one more autograph in here. That's a facsimile autograph that I just breezed by. The autos are in blue. There's Nassim Nunez to 199 for the Marlins. It's for John. And we've got Braden Shoemake. 
21 out of 250. Purple Chrome autograph for Chris Parent and the Atlanta Braves. Nice one for the Bravos. Out of 250, Alejandro Kirk, 75 out of 250. Blue Jays, Levi with the Blue Birds. And the last box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Three more autographs to go. There's Joey Bart, Refractor. Another big catching prospect from the 2018 draft class. Could be the future Buster Posey up in San Francisco. And we've got uh, old Docs, Docs Akis, John Dexakis, 274 out of 499. Rays, that goes to Jeff Goldberg. He's meat, as far as I'm concerned, until he makes it to the big leagues. Why did he call me meat? I'm Nuke. I'm going to announce my presence with authority. All right, we got Shervin Newton to 150 for the Mets. That's going to go to EA. And there's Davis Wenzel. Rangers autograph, Josh Proust with the Rangers. Paper, 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 paper. We're looking for our third and final autograph out of this box. Facsimile auto. Out of one, uh, out of four ninety nine, one thirteen out of four ninety nine. Will Robertson, paper. Yeah, they're going. Marlins going synthetic grass surface at Marlins Park, adjusting the outfield dimensions in center field and right field. We got C.J. Abram, uh, draft pick breakdown, 43 out of 99. Nice insert there. When you take a shortstop this high, you want to be sure you can stay there. The Padres think a Abrams will. Where do they move? Uh, I wonder where do they move that other shortstop that's currently playing for the Padres? Out there. You have a really crush it. So, you know, what do we like in baseball? We like to see offense and 
There's a Nick Quintana to 250, purple paper. And our final autograph is another Diamondback, Ryan Nelson. Calvin with the Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks did well in this break. And there's your final autograph of Pick Your Team 2, 8-box, Jumbo Edition, brand new 2019 Bowman Baseball, Bowman Draft Baseball. And any parallels to close things out? Yes. We've got Jake Mangum out of 50 gold paper. 18 out of 50 on that one. EA with the gold paper. And the last little bit here. And we're going to close out with Jared Kalanick paper. And there you go. Here is your autograph recap. No randomizer or anything to do. Nice. All right. From the eighth box to the first box. So a lot of fun inserts. A lot of good autographs. Fairly, fairly decent spread of penmanship over here as well, which is nice. Always good to see. And that first box was great. There's the Riley Green. There's the Adley Rushman. And there's the C.J. Abrams. Pretty strong first box. Pretty strong break overall. More in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out, and we'll see you for the next one and next time. This is Joe. Bye-bye.